Hello, I'm Dr. Miriam Lusberg from the United States. I'm the immediate past president of MASK, and I am talking to you from our annual international meeting in Lille, France. Um, over the last two years, uh, during my presidency, uh, I have worked to increase our global collaborations with other international societies, including the Society of Integrative Oncology, as well as the International Cardio-Oncology Society. We have also been fortunate enough to have several new affiliates uh, join MASC including from um, South Korea, as well as the Netherlands and many others, uh, in, including, um, and we've had um, many centers of excellence join MASC. We continue to broaden our membership around the globe. We have focused on increasing um, membership to patient partners and advocates. Um, and improving our education services for uh, patients and caregivers around the globe. We have also focused on um, investigating disparities in access to supportive care services uh, around the globe and working uh, collaboratively on finding new solutions for these. The study groups of MASK focus on various topics in supportive care and have a, a number of talk, topics including neutropenia, um, uh, neurologic complications, survivorship, palliative care, uh, antiemetics, and the list goes on. And we encourage our members to be actively involved in study groups to envision new studies and collaborations um, I'm most actively involved in the Neurological Complications Group, where we conducted an international survey of patients and their experience with neurotoxicity and chemotherapy-induced neuropathy. Uh, we have uh, reported these findings, which have highlighted that um, patients continue to experience persistent chronic neuropathy across multiple cancer types. and. Um, we are continuing to investigate additional um, interventions to support our patients. Um, I've also been um, active with the oncodermatology as well as survivorship groups. I think overall we are continuing to hear from patients, caregivers, and clinicians that um, all of us believe that supportive care is a central part of delivering holistic cancer care. Um, what we continue to struggle with is how do we achieve this? How do we seamlessly integrate supportive care um, throughout the continuum of care from day one of diagnosis as patients are receiving um, their cancer care? So these are, this is the commitment of MASK to continue to work on this area to work towards solutions so that we can um, continue to improve um, the experience of patients both during and after cancer treatment. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.